Hi everybody and welcome to my review of the all-inclusive Rio Emerald Bay Hotel in Mazatlan, Mexico. Let's start with the hotel itself. The tower portion of the Rio Emerald Bay has an old-school charm to it and is very spacious and well laid out. I got the Ocean View room, which is pretty standard, but it was very clean and the beds were very comfortable. The room and bathroom could have been a bit more updated, but I have no complaints. Each room includes a fridge stocked with water, beer, drinks, and liquor, and requests can be made to restock them anytime. A tip though is to bring your own toiletries. Shampoo and soap were provided, but it really wasn't that great. The Ocean View rooms come with a spacious balcony, and the view here from the 15th floor was spectacular. It was definitely a highlight of the trip, being able to watch the sunset over the Pacific Ocean every night. The Rio Emerald Bay has five pools with plenty of loungers and cabanas throughout, and two of the pools have swim-up bars. They can sometimes get a little crowded and noisy though, so the beach was a nice alternative. An unexpected highlight was this set of water slides. They look pretty simple, but it was surprisingly fun and definitely worth checking out. The condition of the beach was also great. The sand and ocean were clean and there was thankfully no seaweed. All right, let's talk about the food. There are about five restaurants at the Rio Emerald Bay. And this includes Asian, Mexican, and Italian restaurants, and a couple of buffets. Think pasta, seafood, pizza, sushi, salad bar, Mexican fare. Some of these require reservations, which can be made at the front desk or through the Ryu app, which is super easy to do. If you're interested in these, make sure to reserve early because the spots fill up quickly. The breakfast buffet was always incredible and something I look forward to every morning. The quality of the food overall was really good and there was a good variety. Something to keep in mind though is that vegetarian options can sometimes feel a little limited. There's a gym and spa on site at the Ryu Emerald Bay. The gym itself was pretty modest and a number of spa services are also available. As part of the spa, this jacuzzi area was also available for hour-long reservations and I'd suggest taking advantage of it if you and your group want to take some time to relax and escape. There are plenty of bars dotted throughout the resort to make sure you won't be going thirsty if you want to drink anytime, day or night. The decor of this particular bar was kind of cool and was a nice place to get a drink at the end of the day. The live entertainment at the resort was a lot of fun. Uh, there were options throughout the week that included a performance of Numbers from Greece, an avid tribute band, karaoke, and Mexican music. It was great that they had these different shows put together because the Rio Emerald Bay can sometimes feel a little removed from the central area of Mazatlan and if you're not headed out there, it's something to do that night. Aside from your hotel, there are plenty of activities and excursions in the Mazatlan area that I'd really recommend you look into. The first is a day trip to Deer Island on Trimoran. This trip included lunch and alcohol and was an easy way to be out on the water and relax on the beach on Deer Island, which gives a good view of Mazatlan. The second is a nighttime tour of Mazatlan in an open air bus. This included dinner and beer and tequila on the bus throughout the trip. The guided tour took us down the Malacan during sunset and we got to see some local sites, including the famous cliff divers, and then we did some shopping at the Plaza Machado, which was super charming. It was nice to be able to easily see so much of Mazatlan in one night and the added beer and liquor on the bus was a nice bonus that turned our trip into a bit of a chaotic fun experience. <laughs> My tip would be to book your excursions at the beginning of the week. Some of the activities have limited capacities and this will also help to plan your week. So to go over some pros, the service at the Rio Emerald Bay was incredible. Every staff member was super friendly and helpful. If all you're after is to relax, eat and drink, everything is at your fingertips at this place and you'll have a wonderful time. And lastly, for my stay, I was able to get a last minute deal through Sunwing for the first week of March. For an ocean view room with a king bed, we only paid $14.75 Canadian a person, and you really can't beat that price. 
As for the cons, there aren't that many. I'd say at the peak, it can feel a little crowded and noisy. Also, the vegetarian options at the restaurants can feel a little limited. And as I mentioned, uh, the Ryu Emerald Bay can feel a little removed from the action of the Malacan and the central district of Mazatlan, which are about 20 minutes away by car. If it's your first time going to Mazatlan, I'd suggest making your way out there early during your trip to explore and to get a better sense of where you'd like to spend your time. The bottom line is that the Ryu Emerald Bay is a great affordable hotel. If you can get a good deal on it, I think you'll really enjoy your time there. I'd like to thank the Rio Emerald Bay and their wonderful staff for an incredible stay. We had a great time. And thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or if you've been to the Rio Emerald Bay yourself, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. See ya!